Well, hello there. It is about 12 minutes to 3 o'clock on the 10th. It's Friday. Um, we have some news from the Long Island Railroad. Just got word from Matt Camper that uh, there was a last minute service change added on MTA.info. Now, you may be wondering, what is this about? Well, this is at Belmore this weekend. I I'm just left wondering, why, why couldn't they tell us this last night or, or, or yesterday? I could have literally had edited the video out from yesterday that I recorded on Wednesday for you all that was available at 6 o'clock in the morning. The, the nerve of, of not properly communicating. This is literally almost like less than 24 hours before I notify the public about this. But anyhow, um, West End, the, uh, the platform at Belmore will be closed from 6 a.m. through 8 p.m. Tomorrow, Saturday, May 11, 2019, while Long Island Railroad personnel perform work related to the ongoing station improvement project. This work is one element of the renovations being performed at the station. Saturday customers using Belmore Station must be in the first six cars to board and exit the trains. So, folks, I'm urging you to do this right now. If you need to go to Penn, if you can, use the, use the Merrick or use the Wantawa train station tomorrow. Because if you're going to Belmore, you're going to have to deal with chaos. You're only going to be able to board and exit the train with the first six cars. And I bet what they're going to do is they're probably going to shorten the trains tomorrow. They're probably going to shorten the trains to eight cars. Eight cars. So, I'm warning you right now. If, if you're using the Babylon branch, again, use Merrick. Use Wanto if possible. So at least all those platforms are going to be uh, available. Let's just confirm if any other service change was available. Very quickly. All right. Nothing on the, the railroad regarding other last-minute service changes. Uh, very quickly, I want to talk about this because we've been having a problem a majority of the day on the Port Washington branch. Uh, Matt's been doing a pretty good job covering it, but I'll go into um, what happened. Uh, earlier this morning, we had a track addition near Little Neck that was detected by the Sperry Rail Car this morning. Train service on the Port Washington branch is currently reduced from half hourly to hourly. Crews are on scene working to fix the problem. Eastbound trains are departing Penn Station at 29 minutes past the hour. Westbound trains are departing Port Washington on the hour. Now we have some good news. NYCT is still cross honoring at this hour at Flushing Main Street and 61st Street Woodside on the 7th. So pretty much what's going on is they are testing to make sure that the track is safe. And we get a problem, folks. Guess what? The Mets are at City Field tonight. So they better get service restored soon. Because if they don't, there's going to be chaos. There's going to be chaos. Um, what I would recommend doing if you can, if you're coming from Great Neck tonight, don't even attempt to use the railroad if possible. Unless they tell you, oh, well, service is finally restored. If it isn't, what I would recommend doing is, if you can get your car into Little Neck, or find a way to get into Little Neck, don't even, don't even try taking the N20G. Trust me, it's not going to get you anywhere. The Q12, the Q12 was a whole lot better. So, what I would recommend doing is, take the Q12. Um, if you're in Great Neck, maybe try to take the N20G. I really, I really wouldn't recommend it again because remember, Nice Bus isn't that great. Versus Stein, versus Casey Stangle. I know the operator in that area. Stangle knows what they're doing with their buses. So, um, if you need service between Flushing and Little Neck, you can take the Q12 or the Q13 bus. Um, I will say this right now: Q13 only can get you to Bayside. It will drop you off right on Bell Boulevard. So if you need direct service to Bell Boulevard, take the Q13. If you need service to Douglaston or Little Neck, take the Q12. Uh, if you need service to Broadway, Marie Hill, and Auburndale, you do have the Q12 and the Q13. 
Uh, as far as what's going what's going on, I don't know. Very quickly, let's just um, check Twitter. See what's going on. I want to know if you have an answer from the railroad. We mentioned Twitter for a second. I'll see if I got any any word from the railroad. If um, the Matt did ask the question that, oh well, you know, are they going to make all the trains stop locally, right? What's this? Hang on. Oh, this is just breaking. Wow. I am shocked about this. I didn't expect to record breaking news, but we have breaking news. NJ Burkett from Channel 7, along with WABC TV, has learned that hundreds of unionized workers on the Long Island Railroad are refusing to work overtime shifts tonight and throughout the weekend. Ooh, this is not good. You know what this means. And look at this. I recognize this car. 7512. How ironic. This this is on the main line. Yeah, Huntington. I can definitely tell. That's one of the main line trains. They always use that car on the main line. Let's just see if we got an answer for Matt. Because I know he was just asking um, what's going on. And I do apologize if you hear any car honking in the background. Because again, it's Friday. 73rd Avenue is already becoming bad. And I'll mention this right now. You know, I've been saying it for the past year. Don't use 73rd Avenue. Please just use Union Turnpike. But anyhow, that's not important. Once again, I do apologize if you hear car honking. Nothing I can do about it. Alright, so here's the answer from the railroad. They said, Hi Matt, there are some trains making all local stops. Please use my LIRR to verify your train. So, I think with that, I really have nothing else to add at the moment. Let's just um, check my emails. That's a good idea. Let's check the fan mail account, andrew718pollock at gmail.com. If you have any tips, I'd appreciate that. Okay, um, so far, nothing on the fan mail account from the railroad. So, apparently, all I have right now is this from the railroad. We have track work in the Far Rockaway branch. Ooh, this isn't good. 136 train from Far Rockaway due in Atlantic Terminal at 233 due to track work. This is not good. They better fix that soon because people start to leave Brooklyn now. This is I, I know I know those Far Rockaway trains very well. They get crowded. So they better fix that immediately. Hmm. Rakakama elevator service. Not important. <clears throat> So I got the same email, so I think with that I'm going to wrap up this video. Uh, kept it under 10 minutes, so that's pretty good for a brief update video. Thank you all for watching, and once again, you just heard the car honking. Again, I do apologize about that. There's nothing I can do about it. So that, thank you all for watching. Until the next time, please take care.